Hey, we're Dada Life and we're here in the studio in Stockholm with Future Music Mag. I mean, one thing we can talk about is like from the bass, it's a good example where we sit with a long time yeah. and put a lot of effort and, and uh, time into it. It's the timing of the notes. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people just play in their bass, like the bass line, and then they're happy with it and leave it like that. We can sit for hours and discuss yeah, how yeah. long this little, <laughs> like how long the little space between the notes should be. Film here, this is just insane. This little space here, I don't know, we, we, we worked, you could have worked like, I don't know, three, four hours and discussing it. And we can get angry on each other. It's like, <laughs> and then we go and sit in each other's studio and then we come back together and it's like, okay, maybe we should pull it. And it's, it's not much we're talking about. It's like, it's like this changes so much for us. And also the combination of the, the fact that the, the... That one length is that and then it's... No, yeah, the combination of that, the four first, the four first note has like a little space in between them. Whether where the weirdo, weirdo doesn't have any space at all. So it's like... Yes, that, that dynamic goes back and forth to the stompy, stompy, yeah. stompy, stompy, legato, legato, legato. <laughs> <laughs> and that's like one thing that we work a lot with. Like yeah. the spaces in between the notes on, on the chords, on the melody, on the bass. I think that's like a, like good tips for people because that's something that a lot of people just, you know, just play it in and they're happy with it because it sounds good. Yeah. Or program it in at the exact length. Yeah, yeah. and if you start like listening to it and like maybe move it a little bit, it changes the whole groove of the track. Yeah, and, and so sometimes it's like you can get fooled because it's like, yeah, it's a, per it's a super good melody but it, it doesn't sound good in the track, then you should check the length. And I think a lot of like talking about, I don't know, pop producers, they just like play in everything, and then next one they play in everything, and then they're like, oh, it doesn't sound like dance music. Of course not. <laughs> it's like, it, it's the smallest timing, and that, that's the same thing with all the automation. It's the small stuff that makes the whole thing I mean, all the little details together makes the whole feeling of the track. But what about yeah. velocity levels and stuff? Is the bass? No, nope, not at all. No. <laughs> velocity. Yeah. What, what's that? It's, what? <laughs> no, because it's like if I don't know. we actually usually instead of using velocity, if there's if there's uh, if we want to change the volume of something, we usually do it like in like with like with a macro instead yeah. for the on the volume. Yeah, and may maybe it's like instead of if if we want to pull something back. Maybe we would just like, I don't know, lower the volume and just while that macro button goes down, a reverb goes up on it. So it's like not just lowering the volume, it's, it could be that's small stuff. 